The outer game for this month is something that, ironically, some people may find very, very advanced and some other people may find very, very simple. And it really depends how you've been approaching game. So what I'm gonna tell you to do is approach game in a slightly different way than what I see a lot of students do. You see, I see a lot of students who watch infield footage um, or, or hear lines that instructors say and they think, oh, that's good game. And they think because they saw it on my infield, it's good game so they can just repeat it. I had a student I did an infield breakdown with um, earlier today and he came in here and he was saying these lines that I thought were completely miscalibrated, completely out of context. He's like, I got that from you. I'm like, no, you didn't. Like, I may have said that, I may have said those words, but you did not get that line from me because I would never have used that line in that context. I would never have used that line at that place because the line had a purpose. That line had a purpose and that place did not suit that purpose. Okay, so what I want you to understand is that game has a progression to it. Okay, and so there are sort of stages and phases in game and what's good game in one may be bad game in another. All right, so I'm gonna give you basically the most simple model of game you could possibly have ever. Okay, it's basically four stages. It goes open, hook, qualify slash connect, and close. Okay, so open, hook, qualify, connect, close. All right, so open. All your job is, is to get her to respond to you. That's it. You're looking for a response, ideally one that's other than fuck off. That's your only goal. All right, so what do you need to do? You need to be loud and confident, and you need to have a good angle and a smile on your face, that's it, okay? That's it, that's all you're doing. Don't think further ahead than that. If you try and do more than that, you're overcomplicating it. Next, she's communicated with you, but you want her to accept you, right? She's acknowledged you, but you are going from acknowledgement to acceptance. Here, your job is offer value, all right? So I'll give you two solutions. Um, the, the sort of like trivial solution and then the more complex solution. The, the easy solution is just tell a story, which is a pretty good solution. Right? If you don't know what to do, if you're like, ah, I don't know what to say, tell a story. Even if it's a random story, tell a story you read as a kid, who cares? Just tell a story. The whole thing there is you just need to keep your mouth moving, you need to get her used to talking to you, and you need to be offering value, offering something interesting to the conversation. The better solution, which I like more than telling a story, is what I call narrating from a high value frame. Okay? And there what you're gonna do, you're gonna just say whatever comes to your mind, but you're playing a role. It's like you're an actor and you've stepped into the role that you are the sexiest man alive. And girls have been swooning all over you and girls are trying to date you and you just wanna pick out a girl that you can really connect with who will be a quality girl, right? And so there's this natural screening to it, there's this natural arrogance and entitlement to it, but really you're just gonna narrate that frame, from that frame. So you might hear things such as, hey, so uh, you know, I don't really know what to say to you, but um, obviously we're both very attractive people and um, I thought that you might be the girl that finally impresses me, so I wanted to come say hi to you, right? That's a decent narration right off the open, right? And that's, that's just something that came off the top of my head, but it came off the top of my head from a high value frame. The implications there, I'm an attractive person. The implication there, you'd want to be with me, right? So it's a foregone conclusion, you'd want to be with me, but I'm deciding about you, right? So that narration from a high value frame is a better thing to do. But the key thing there from open to hook is keep talking no matter what, about you, about your opinions, your values, your perspectives, et cetera, ideally as it relates to her, right? So your perspectives, your ideas, your opinions as it relates to you and her. And in fact, if you were gonna tell a story, it's good to relate the story to her as well, okay? So you have open, just fucking get her attention, be positive, be loud, et cetera. You have the next stage, which is offering value about you and about her. It's not about small talk, it's about you and about her. That's it, that's your only thing you're thinking about. And then you have the transition into getting to know her. And I, I came up today with this student with like kind of a good general phrase for that, which I wanna kind of give to you, which is, wow, you actually seem X, so tell me more. Wow, you actually seem a little bit stylish, so tell me, well, you have a good sense of humor, that's cool. Tell me more, I'm curious about you now. Or, hey, you actually have a good sense of humor, so I'm curious, what's your story, right? So that's that transition between She's responding to you and she likes you, to you could actually connect and get to know her. But again, it's with this qualifying frame, it's with this idea that you are a high value person and it's something you're doing for her. And then it's very important that you do that before you go to the close. One of the biggest mistakes I see guys making, it's shocking how often I see this one, they go in, do a good open. They self amuse, talk, carry the conversation, joke around, whatever, they get the hook. And then as soon as the girl giggles once, or as soon as the girl gives them one compliment, they're like, so let's grab coffee. So they, get, they go straight from hook to close and there's no actual connection in the interaction. 
I want you to understand that connection part is the important part. The whole point of doing the open and the hook was to get you to connection. Okay, so don't skip it. That's the good stuff. And even if you do close, you're gonna have to get on a date, you have to do that connection anyway, so you may as well do it now and make the number solid, okay? Don't skip connection. Don't open with a close. Don't be the guy that, that's in such a hurry to get out of there and so unconfident in himself, he rushes to the close. Trust that the longer she spends, the longer she spends with you, the better she's going to like you and the better things are going to go, okay? So that's it, open, hook, um, qualify, connect, and then close, all right? And each stage has a very specific mandate. Open, get her attention in a positive way. Hook, keep talking about you and her and keep it going until she participates, until she jumps in, right? Qualify, give her some reason why this is a reason to connect, right? Some little reason and then get to that connection stuff. Now at an advanced level, <clears throat> for those of you who are very advanced, you might do some disqualifying along with the qualifying, but that's not even that important for now because even if you never did that, you could still have a ton of great interactions. And again, we're keeping the model simple, okay? So just the slightest qualifier as a reason you wanna get to know her and then, hey, I'm curious about you, I wanna get to know you. I'm curious, I'm curious about you, what's your story? And then you take your time, have that normal conversation, keeping it man to woman ideally, but have that normal conversation. And then once you've connected, it makes sense to close. And that's when your closes are going to be consistent and that's when they're actually gonna follow up with you. Simplest model of game ever. We're gonna open hook, qualify connect, close with one specific focus each step along the way. Now, a lot of guys, and this was the case with a student today, <clears throat> a lot of guys, when they learn technical game, they're like, oh, God, I have so much to think about, I'm so in my head. Here's what I want you to do with this model. I want you to go over it a bunch of times so you ingrain it a little bit in your head and then when you go out in field, I want you to completely forget it. Completely forget it and just do you, okay? But when you get to that point where you're like, I don't know what to say now, I want you to ask yourself the question, where am I? Where am I in the set? What stage am I at? And then I want you to take the behavior of that stage. So if you're like, oh, she likes me, but it's not going anywhere, so you know what, you're very stylish. Tell me more about you, right? Because you're at that stage. Or if you've said hi and you're like, oh, what do I say? Well, it's time to just ramble. You know, actually to be fair, like I'm normally so articulate, but uh, I, I just, I didn't have anything planned, but clearly we're both attractive. Um, you seem stylish, so you might be able to keep up with me. Um, and I wanted to find out more, what's your name? Make sense? So that's the hook, you ramble through it. So I don't want you to be thinking about this all the time. I want you to be just doing you. But when you reach that moment where you're like, uh, what do I say now? Ask yourself, what stage am I at? And that will tell you what to say then.